Hey everyone, and welcome to our ranged tier list update. This tier list has been put together using the latest beta patch with the knowledge and experience of our rank 1 consultants. This means a lot of what you see may be subject to change. What this tier list will offer though is a first look at what's doing well and why when it comes to PvP. We'll continue to update these tier lists as needed throughout the beta before releasing a solidified version once Shadowlands Arena Season 1 begins. Before we get started though, if you're as excited for Shadowlands as we are here at Skillcapped, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more up-to-date Shadowlands content. For this tier list, we'll be placing our ranged specs into four tiers. See our lowest tier, ranging up to S, where we'll have the best of the best. Starting from the bottom, we've got Demonology Warlocks. Demonology is still struggling and remains bottom of the pack, still suffering heavily from its core design of this heavy ramp up playstyle, which just doesn't bode well when it comes to PvP, especially Arena. Having yet to see any changes, Demonology remains firmly in our C tier and that is alongside Beast Mastery Hunters. BM is overall getting a lot of cool abilities back going into Shadowlands, but with a huge lack of consistent single target damage, it seems that BM only really works when it comes to dungeons, not to mention the huge nerfs to Revive Pet now having a much longer cast time. With none of these issues likely being touched for PvP, BM remains again in our bottom tier. Moving on to our B tier now and remaining inside is going to be Fire Mage. Blizzard have really put out the fire going into Shadowlands. The loss of borrowed power coupled with big nerfs to Greater Pyro and of course the loss of Temporal Shield means fire is no longer ablaze. Although that being said, the spec still remains to have all of its CC and decent burst damage during combust. So if other mage specs do get touched, we could see fire climbing up the ranks again. All right, now we're moving up to our A tier where we have our first change. Balanced Druids have managed to flap up a tier thanks to some buffs. Our favorite Owls, as we know, have received the old Eclipse mechanic back, on top of some great changes to their affinities and even Heart of the Wild returning. More recently though, and the reason for them climbing up from our B tier, is the big buff to both their damage over time effects, Moonfire and Sunfire, both of which gained a 17.4% damage increase. This combined with a very cool new talent called Moon and Stars, which when entering new Eclipse grants you a 70% reduction to interrupts for 10 seconds, this is great for helping you fully utilize the benefit of these powerful Eclipses and even secure easier Cyclones. Although Celestial Alignment did slightly get nerfed, now providing less haste, the fact that it's now off the GCD and these buffs have catapulted Balanced Druids up to our A tier. Next up, Destruction Warlocks are still remaining in our A tier. Heavy nerfs to Focused Chaos and the removal of such talents as Grimoire of Supremacy and Entrenched in Flame has left Destruction heavily overshined by their Affliction counterparts. Although we still expect Destro to see some play, it will be with the adaptation of a more instant damage based spec utilizing Conflag and Shadowburn. All right. Being almost unchanged from BFA other than some buffs to Winter's Chill, Frost Mages are still relatively strong, although the removal of Temporal Shield has hurt them defensively. But they have tons of CC slows, roots, and instant damage with Frozen Orb and Ice Lance, and this just means that Frost is still going to be a contender for the go-to mage spec and roots its place inside of our A tier yet again. Our last addition to A tier and dropping down previously from S tier we have Arcane Mages. Arcane is very strong, being the only mage spec left with Temporal Shield, on top of buffs to their burst with Presence of Mind giving two Arcane Blasts. We've also seen Touch of the Magi be baseline along with buffs to their mastery. The reason for Arcane dropping down a tier is not down to any changes in specific. Rather, our initial placing was largely based off of their performance in Arena which was heavily skewed due to Arcane preferring to play with strong melee classes such as Sub Rogues or Windwalker Monks. Now, after having more time to play around with Arcane and different compositions, the spec as a whole just isn't cut out for our S tier. Standalone Arcane is on equal footing with Frost. Currently, it seems like Frost lends itself better to Caster Cleaves, while Arcane is more suited to playing with melee. Alright, so let's quickly recap our updated tier list so far. Our previous tier list looked like this. So far, our new one is looking like this. Before we get into our S tier, if you're enjoying the video so far, a sub to the channel would be phenomenal. Okay, so we've reached the moment that you've likely all been waiting for, our final and strongest tier, the S tier. These specs are currently the strongest and best performing range specs on the beta. And first up, still making the cut, we've got Shadow Priests. 
Shadow received a very big overhaul, which has helped them a ton when it comes to PvP, having some of their damage shifted away from the ramp up mechanic Void Form into Devouring Plague. So not only do Shadow have incredible instant CC from Psychic Horror, Fear, Silence, and potentially Mind Bomb or Thought Steal, high utility and defensive capabilities with Dispersion, Swap, Mass Dispel, and even Greater Fate, but now they also have the burst damage to combine it with. Shadow is honestly looking in a fantastic spot and will remain firmly in our S tier. Climbing up one tier from our last list, we have MM Hunters. We placed MM previously inside of our A tier. Well, similar to our adjustment on Arcane, after more Hunters playing around with the spec and trying out different comps, it's agreed that the spec is looking to be in an insane spot. This is partially down to the adaptation of picking up the Kyrian Covenant's Resonating Arrow. What this does is allow them to ignore Line of Sight. So combining their incredibly high burst, great instant CC, with now the ability to go through line of sight, makes them an insanely strong addition to any setup-based comp. One of the biggest jumps we've had on this tier list is from Elemental Shamans. Previously, they made it into our B tier based on a lack of damage, while receiving buffs to Ascendance and players shifting towards control of Lava to make these one-shots possible has catapulted them up to the ranks of our top tier. How this one-shot works is combining the newly buffed Ascendance with the Control of Lava PvP talent, Echoing Shock, and the Necrolord Covenant ability Primordial Wave. Casting a Primordial Wave followed by Lava Burst then instantly popping Ascendance will burst every target with Flame Shock up, doing ridiculous amounts of damage. Our only complaint about Elemental previously was simply their damage, so now they have all of the strong utility, disruption, and survivability paired up with the insane burst damage. Our last addition and also climbing up two tiers is Affliction Warlock. It's been slightly up in the air whether or not this spec deserved a spot in our S tier. They suffered a few issues, such as being slightly frail, having global bloat, and being countered too heavily by Dispel. Well, Affliction underwent some very impactful buffs since our last rendition of our caster tier list, the biggest of which have been the addition of a new PvP talent, Rapid Contagion, giving Affliction some very impactful burst on top of their high consistent pressure. More importantly though was a huge buff to Unstable Affliction. Not the damage, but the dispel aspect. This heavily punishes healers who are consistently dispelling you away, meaning no longer are you just having all of your dots dispelled instantly after you apply them. On top of those changes, Affliction was also graced with Howl of Terror now being instant cast. This gives Affliction a way to not only secure casts a lot easier, but also deal with melee. All right, everyone, that's going to be it for this ranged tier list update. For more information on all of the ranged classes featured in this tier list, be sure to check out our up and coming overviews, featuring all of the information you need to know to get started, ready for the release of the Shadowlands Sinful Arena Season 1. And as always, if you want to remain up to date with our Shadowlands content, be sure to like this video, ring that bell, and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.